The 3DS has gained a ton of popularity over the recent years, and people have began to realize that there's a ton of hidden gems and amazing games on the platform, so I just want to talk about where these video game prices are going to go in the near future. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So first of all, I just want to say that all video game prices are always varying, they're always just going up and down based on what the market demand is at that time. But recently the 3DS eShop permanently shut down, which was a really beneficial tool for people to purchase games at the normal retail value, rather than the high prices of some of the physical copies of this games. Like for example, some games on the eShop might be, you know, 20 or $30, but the physical copy selling on eBay or in stores could be like 100 or like $50, just something, something a lot more expensive. So the 3DS eShop gave people a way to buy games at a lower cost for the most part. With the recent closure of the eShop, people are pretty much forced to only buy physical copies of the games or mod their 3DS, but for the sake of this video, I'm not really going to talk about modding as it doesn't really affect the prices of physical copies too much. 3DS games have become extremely collectible and desirable for many people recently. Some people even take on the task of collecting every single 3DS game ever made, which is crazy. And I think that would cost around 10 to 15,000 US dollars. I might be a little bit off, but I'm thinking that's roughly the cost currently as the time I'm recording this video. Over the last few years, the prices of 3DS games and the consoles have just been increasing. As the lifespan of that console has come to an end, 3DS games are out of production, but they're still highly desirable. So the demand for the 3DS games is extremely high, but the quantity of games is doing nothing but going down, leading to higher prices. And the reason I say nothing but going down is because accidents happen. You know, a dog could chew some video games. You know, you could drop it in water or just, it just breaks or something. Video games aren't gonna last forever. And if there's no new 3DS games being produced, that means the quantity out there is just gonna go down. I feel like the pandemic also had a huge impact on the prices of a lot of video games, more specifically 3DS games. A lot of people just came to the hobby of video games or found their passion to play again. YouTube has also been a huge factor. There's just so much content being uploaded every single day about the 3DS, which just brings the hype up even more. Like you could probably watch endless content relating to 3DS, 3DS games, 3DS consoles, eShop stuff, whatever, literally anything you can think about. Even on the new 3DS, like you can replace the front plate for like a new design. I'm kind of describing that right, but like, for example, like the regular 3DS, the blue one, you can't change that color, but on the new 3DS, I'm pretty sure you could change the front plate so you could change the colors and everything. Those are so expensive. I can't believe how much people pay for some of these covers. It's, it's insane. Nintendo products in general just have a collectible feel to them. Most Nintendo products always hold their value, more specifically, their video games hold value extremely well. For example, take like Xbox or Sony PlayStation exclusive games like Uncharted or Halo. You can buy a copy of Halo for like $3, you can buy Uncharted for like $4, but literally almost every single Nintendo first party title has good value to it. Not all of them of course, there's definitely probably a few that are worth, you know, like $9 or less, but a majority of Nintendo first party titles hold their value. Some of them are worth even way more than they were originally when they were in the stores, but I'd say most of them are pretty much under what they were worth a little bit, but so basically that just means if somebody buys a Nintendo first party game or, you know, random product, but I'm just going to say games, the odds are that the price of that game will stay relatively the same or go even higher, so you really aren't going to lose your money or your investment if you have to sell some of your collection. People run into issues, roadblocks, they might need some quick money and they can sell their Nintendo games because luckily also, with the value of Nintendo games, they sell extremely fast. Sometimes I come across first party Nintendo games, you know, thrifting or whatever, and I don't need it for my collection and I sell it and they usually sell within a day. It's crazy. As long as you have a pricing right, they sell extremely fast. I think we're definitely still in a little bit of a bubble when it comes to the gaming market, but I think you should take that with a grain of salt because just because we're in a bubble right now, doesn't mean that the prices will significantly drop when the bubble pops. Millions of people are extremely passionate about the Nintendo games, and I think that's going to help the overall value of the 3DS going in the future. Online, I saw something about comparing this to Beanie Babies. You know how Beanie Babies in the 90s were just extremely desirable. Some of them were extremely valuable, but people just lost interest completely. Like, you cannot even give somebody a Beanie Baby. Nobody wants them. But that's just not the case with Nintendo stuff. Nintendo is just different. They're on a different ballgame. 
their stuff is always going to be desirable. Of course, the market for anything can never consistently go up forever. It has to drop at some point or come to a standstill, but I personally don't see the value of 3DS games dropping significantly for a very, very long time. I definitely think right now we're at a high spike. Like, I think this is probably the highest they've ever been, and they probably will continue to go up a little bit for the next, you know, few months, maybe year or two, who knows. But I'm sure there will be a point where the 3DS games just come to a standstill and they just won't really go up or down, they'll probably just kind of stay the same. Honestly, some prices of these games or consoles are pretty scary, like, I'm pretty sure the Pikachu Edition 3DS sells for like $400-$500. It's, it's crazy. I mean, it might be a little bit less. I'm just kind of going off of my recent memory on that. But historically, you know, video game consoles that have gone out of production, they usually drop in value. Like the games usually drop in value. The consoles usually drop in value because people want to move on to the next thing. And that kind of happened when the Switch released. Like, like the 3DS and its games kind of dropped a little bit, but they quickly came back up. Like they quickly shot way back up in value. So it's kind of interesting how the 3DS didn't really lose its value over its lifespan. It's only been out for about, you know, like 10, 10 years or something like that. And the value is just going up and up. Usually that doesn't happen. The Wii U value dropped, but now, I mean, the Wii U stuff is actually going up again, which is crazy. It's, it's just a weird phenomenon. I'm not really sure what makes the 3DS specifically so much better than all the other console prices. I mean, I think the 3DS is great. It's definitely a super sick console and I definitely want way more games for it, but I can't really afford many games. So. So yeah, overall, I definitely think 3DS games are just going to go up in value in the future, probably for the next year or two, maybe longer, maybe they won't. I don't think you should fully trust what anyone says though, because nobody can predict the market. The market is just constantly changing. Nobody can really control it for the most part. And I just personally think that it's going to go up for a while. So if you want to pick up a 3DS right now, you should probably wait a little bit because I think we're at a really high point right now. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.